What's up guys? Today we are going over a new Bitcoin trading system called God's Envelope. This is the first trading system I've released that has backtesting capabilities to show how profitable it can be. I'm super excited about it, so let's just dive right in. Day trading, short term trading, options trading, futures trading, and crypto trading contain substantial risk and is not for every investor. An investor could potentially lose all or more of their initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security or lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading, and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. No trades or recommendations or advice, and I cannot be sued for loss of capital. All trades are for educational purposes only. Contact your broker or RIA for execution, margin, and other capital requirements. Everyone watching this video, adhere to all disclaimers and disclosures on DeathHouse.com. Past performance does not guarantee future results. Alright guys, so this is the first glance of the Depth House trading system. Today we are going to be taking a look at the backtest version, which is here to show you how trades are generated and how you could possibly generate trades yourself. By no means does this show the max amount of profit or the minimum amount of profit that could be generated using the strategy. Unfortunately, previous results do not guarantee future results. I will have to release two versions of this. One will be the strategy, which is the backtest version, and then the other is just the depth house trading system, which will have the alerts enabled. Sadly, at the moment, TradingView does not allow alerts on its strategy systems. So that is the explanation for having two. At first glance, this looks very similar to the Ichimoku cloud. It acts in a very similar manner. Once the price action crosses above the cloud, the trend then changes to bullish and vice versa when it crosses down. That price action is actually then displayed over in this nice little info panel. So right now, the macro trend is up. It is also currently showing the micro trend up. Down below, we have the God values. Now these are very similar to an RSI. Currently, we are right there in the middle. Now, if these values cross above 80 or below 20, caution signs will appear here on the sides. Below that, we have the support zones. The cloud support zone is actually generated from the cloud itself. So currently, we have about 11K and then 9.5. That's the main support zone that it is showing. We then have the horizontal support zones. Now, these support zones are generated from these little horizontal blocks that we see here. Now, this darker one is actually a bearish horizontal support zone or resistance zone. And down here we have a blue, which that's actually generated with bullish price action. And most recently it appears we have bearish price action occurring and it is holding us down, keeping us down in the cloud right now. All right, taking a look at the settings, the very first option is display overbought and oversold ranges. This is actually where God's envelope gets its name. As you can see, it creates an envelope around the price action, the top displaying the overbought and uh, the bottom displaying the oversold range. We're gonna go ahead and turn that off. The next several options are variables for the, the indicator itself. We're not gonna mess with those and we're just gonna go right on down to the strategy. The very first option is margin trading. Now this is short trading. By default, is it is off. Today, we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. And once you do that, you will see that short trades then appear on, on the chart. The next option is also a default on. This is called the child FOMO positioning. So this is the only market buy in the backtest strategy. Now when this occurs is when the macro trend or the cloud is crossed. So for example here, this was, this was all bearish up until we had a candle close above 8.3. As soon as that candle closed above 8.3, a market order was placed and it bought at about 3.9, just under 3.9. Now this position will not close by default until the cloud is crossed again. So this is actually a very, very good move. It bought at 3.9 and it's currently at 10.1 and it has yet to sell. Taking a look at the strategy tester, we have about a 37% success rate with just the child FOMO positioning system. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next setting. However, for this, we're gonna have to go over to properties and we're gonna change pyramiding to one. Now, what this does is it enables you to have multiple orders at once. So we could have both 
child FOMO positioning on and horizontal break trading on at the same time if we had this set to two. However, we're just going through them one at a time. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the child FOMO positioning off and the horizontal break trading on. Select OK. Now, the way this works, this is actually a trading strategy based on just these horizontal levels. It is dependent on the cloud. So the only time it would consider going into a long position is if the macro trend is up. And the only time it would ever consider going into a short position is if the macro trend is down. So the way this works is once a bullish horizontal um, level is formed, which in this case they are blue, it has a possibility of generating a position. The first step would be to generate the level then we would have to cross and close a candle above the top level. So for example, right here we generated a level at about 3.9K. We then closed a candle um, at almost 4,000. So as soon as we close this candle, the back to strategy created a limit order at the top level. So that would be limit order at 3.9K. Then once the price action came back down and touched that, it entered a long position. Now that long position will not close per the backtest strategy until a bearish level is formed. So for example, we had a bearish level formed here. As soon as that bearish level was formed, a stop loss limit order was placed right here at 3.8K or just a little bit over. So if we entered along here, this level formed, and then we went down and crossed here, it actually would have taken a small loss. However, that did not happen. The price continued to move up, and it did not form another bearish level until about 5,000. And unfortunately, it did get stopped out there. Um, it was a winning trade though. It then does the exact same for negative price action. Once a negative level is formed, a candle must close below the lower level and once the lower level is crossed it creates a limit order. Once that limit order is hit it does not close until the stop is hit on a positive level. Unfortunately in this zone as you can see it got stopped out a lot. This is trading unfortunately not every trade is a winner there is loss. Taking a look at the strategy tester we still have about a 53.66% success rate. The overall profit is very, very high. The maximum drawdown is just 8.75% and an average trade of $300. Now, in the future, I truly hope to modify the backtest capabilities uh, because what I do actually is when I enter a short like this, I will take profit like say maybe 5% away. So I don't even know if this hit 5%. It did. So what I actually would have done is I would have entered the trade here at 3.5% almost 3.4k and then I would have exited the short at 3.2k. I would have never gotten stopped out. However, say the price did not hit my 5% sell, I then would have I would have been stopped out at a minimal loss. In the future, I'm sure this is an update that will be coming, but for now this is just to give you guys a general idea on how this system can work. It is absolutely amazing. Moving on, we're going to go ahead and turn the horizontal break trading off and move on to the parent positioning. Now the way this strategy works, it waits for bullish or bearish price action to occur. For example, we crossed, we crossed the cloud and created a macro uptrend. However, in this case, the child positioning is turned off so we did not go straight into a, a position. The parent positioning actually waits for us to cross back down into the cloud. As you can see here, we cross back down, so it had a limit order sitting at 3.8K, and it took that order, and it has yet to exit, I believe. This will not exit on default until this trend changes to bearish. And that is actually what happened in this case. We had a short position from, it appears to be 6.1K, and it did not close that until 3.9. Taking a look at the strategy tester, it has about a 36% success rate alone. 
Uh, the overall percentage profitable is, is pretty crazy. So this can be a very profitable system to use. Going into settings, there are actually ways to take profit sooner. So here is the option is take 50% partial profits. You have two options here. You have horizontal break levels, which we actually discussed before. When the horizontal levels are formed, it will create a stop order at the bottom. I personally do not like this. Uh, it is there just for people that like very stop trading and they like to get an idea on how it, it would perform. And then we have the God values, which is actually the cloud. So once we go into the cloud, it then will wait for an exit of the cloud and it will sell. So we had our buy here. We went up into the cloud and it crossed out and it sold half of the position here. It then will not sell the other half until we cross below the cloud. So that there is still a very profitable position and it locked in profits here at 5,000. That was still a, uh, what was that, a 38% move on Bitcoin. Turn that off. So we have gone over all the trading strategies that are currently available on the Depth House trading system. The last option here is actually the back test year start date. So by default, that's like 2010. By all means, you can change that to say 2019. Let's see if it's uh, if it has any data. It unfortunately has very, very little data. It took a small loss here. It then entered this parent short, took some profit. And this profit is actually going to go up drastically once this position closes. So let's go ahead, go back into settings. Let's turn the child FOMO positioning on. Since we have these two on now, I need to go into properties and change pyramiding to at least two. That is set. So let's go back to inputs. Let's change the start date to 2000. Well, 2018 was a very, very bad year. So let's go ahead and set it to that and see how profitable it was. Based on this data, we started with $10,000 every trade was $2,500 and we have a maximum of two trades at a time. So that's a maximum of 50% of your account. Since 2018, we have made $3,600 based on the backtest data. Still very, very impressive. Let's go ahead and change that to 2017 because that was an absolutely absurd year for cryptocurrencies. And look, that, that is just crazy. So in the next video, I'm going to show you some backtest data in action using TradingView's replay feature here. I hope you guys enjoy this. Feel free to leave comments. Uh, send me a DM on TradingView. I'm always on. Thank you guys for watching.